what's up so today's video is going to be a collective haul of all the things that i have been buying for my apartment you may or may not know that i'm moving into an apartment in less than a month it's like a few weeks away which is terrifying i'm moving into an efficiency apartment by myself i do already own a lot of the staple kitchen items and bathroom items and stuff like that so i just wanted to get a few new like decor pieces so everything that you see behind me is currently at my parents house i am going to be leaving this stuff here so when i come home to visit and stuff i'll still have have all this stuff here for me so without rambling too much i'm just gonna jump right into the video so this is from home goods i got this quilt it was 49 dollars. so it comes with a huge quilt and two standard shams you guys can see in the picture it has little like pom-poms on it i will do a full college apartment tour so don't you worry you will see this in the tour but this is the bedding that i decided to get next from home goods i got a set of pillows i personally really like their pillows this is a brand that i use at home currently you get two pillows for 20 dollars so I think it's really worth it. This is the beauty rest black extra firm support down alternative pillow If anyone cared what pillows I use those are the ones I bought this little basket um, It has like orange tassels. I'm planning to use this as like a plant basket So I actually have a plant I'll enter the picture of the plant that I bought here. It was from Costco I'm planning on putting it in this so it looks a little bit cuter. We'll see how it works But I'm planning on putting that plant into this little basket thing and then i also got this little fur stool this was twenty dollars so i couldn't pass it up but this was also from home goods i don't know where i'm gonna put this you guys will see once i get it into my apartment but i bought this for god knows what reason this is like a silverware tray i had a plastic one of these at my old apartment but i don't like how it looks and stuff so i upgraded to a bamboo one this was eight dollars so um home goods is so affordable for kitchen stuff if you guys are new here you wouldn't know that i am obsessed with target i go there probably once a week it's bad but they have that really cute opal house collection out right now so this is a blush pink and cream like tassel pillow and it has embroidery right here so i'm not planning on having a bunch of pillows on my bed like i do at my parents house i thought it would be easier to just kind of downsize the pillows and just get one like statement piece so i love this one i also got a set of mason jars to use for drinking i really like the look of these for drinking and i also can use them for like food storage if i'm wanting to store something i don't know i'm planning on making like my own granola and everything so i bought a set of these i also had a two dollar coupon that i forgot to use so i'm still kind of mad at myself for that but i'm going in the most random order ever but i was at target with my mom yesterday and i saw the mrs myers clean day soap and i really like the basil scent the airbnb that i stayed at in boulder colorado had this soap and i really liked it so i'm gonna use this in my kitchen i just thought that i would buy it when i remembered to for the sake of the video, I'm just showing one of these, but I bought two of these bath rugs. This is the Threshold brand from Target, and it has like these little knobby things on them. I actually bought these when they were discounted. I think the bath section at Target was like 30% off, so I was able to get a little bit of a discount on these, but I'm just gonna use these in my bathroom. I wanted to put one in front of my sink area and then one in front of my bathtub. This piece is super random, but it is a gigantic floor pillow. Like, look how huge this thing is okay this is huge but this is a honeywell fan and it is the white color if you can see that right there i'm gonna put that down this is the honeywell quiet set tower fan control at your fingertips and there's like sound options so currently at my parents house i have the black tower fan by honeywell and i actually bought this when i was a freshman in college so this was back in 2014 that i bought this i have slowly become addicted to using a fan when i sleep so i thought it would be useful to buy a second one from my apartment and then just leave my other tower fan here at my parents house the one that i have at my parents house is getting pretty old the lights in the little control panel are starting to not work so it still does what it needs to but it's getting older so um, i'm gonna leave that one here and use my new one at my apartment also i bought that at target and they had like 10 percent off if you bought it online and then you picked it up in store so i was able to get like five dollars off of that which was really nice this was kind of a random thing but i bought this at beautycon la and this is a mug from the beautycon like merch shop it's just like this really pretty light pink color with their beautycon logo and then on the back it says we welcome all races all genders all ages all countries of origin all sexual orientations all religions all glamazons all natural beauties all unicorns beautycon so i thought that was really cute i'm definitely excited to use this when I drink my coffee. I am such a mug hoarder. It's kind of weird, but 
I also got a new set of sheets. A little bit of a life hack. If you guys are looking for pretty high quality sheets, I would definitely go look at Sam's Club. These were $40, I believe. And if you go to Target, they're not that good of quality and they're also really expensive. So these are just plain white ones. Um, definitely look at Sam's Club or probably even Costco for sheets if you guys are looking for a new sheet set. And then the last three things that I'm going to talk about, unfortunately, I can't fit in the frame of my camera. I'm just gonna show them in an overlay and talk about about them so the first one is a TV stand I actually got this at home goods and it was about $200 I believe I think it was $199 and it's just a fake wood and metal TV stand I really like the look of it also I got a new bed frame um, I think it's by the brand Zinus I'm not really sure how you pronounce it but I bought it online it's just a metal bed frame I will show a picture right here because it's still in the box and then I also bought two new nightstands. I just found like these white little nightstands. I'll pop a picture in right here. I bought two of them from Target and they also were on sale. So that was really nice. I also bought a coffee table. I actually bought this one off of the Facebook buy and sell group. It's like the marketplace. I think it's a silver metal and glass coffee table and it's like a hexagonal shape. So I personally think it's really cute and something different. I think it'll be kind of like a statement piece for my apartment. So I'm really excited about that one. So I believe that's everything that I've bought so far for my apartment. I really just need to buy a couch and a TV and that's about everything else that I need for my apartment plus a mattress. I forgot about a mattress. So I do plan on doing moving vlogs and apartment tours and everything like that. So definitely stay on the lookout for those within the next month to two months. So that is going to be everything for today's video. I will try to link everything down below that I possibly can. If there isn't a link for something, that means it's either out of stock or they just don't sell it online. So I tried my best to just understand that, but that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys super soon in a new one. Bye guys.